Hi, welcome. Now I am going to show you how to calculate the arrival time for a given departure time and duration or uh, how to calculate the departure time for a given arrival time with the duration. Okay. So now what I have here is that uh, Singapore, the starting place and the ending place, I am going to Australia and uh, the duration is 4.5 hours. and. Uh, departure time is 3 30 a.m okay now i want to know the arrival time okay this example is more more on only on the time part not the day part okay so this example will give you only the time how to get the time when you arrive okay the day part of you uh, once you calculate you know how to calculate the time part uh, you can easily calculate the day part okay so in this example please consider only for time part and uh, now uh, what i'm going to do is i have the duration 4.5 hours okay this hours is uh, uh, 4.5 is nothing but 4 hours and 30 minutes it is not 4.4 uh, 4 hours and 50 minutes so the 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 problem comes in now to how can we add this duration to the departure time to get the arrival time okay so before we we want to add this duration to the departure time okay this departure time i will also show you what is the format it is in hmm am or pm format in custom okay and arrival time also you set it in the same format okay the same format okay or uh, this format okay so now what you are going to do is the uh, 3 30 a.m okay so what i am going to do i am going to add this 4.5 hours first i want the hours of the duration then i want the minutes of the duration then i will calculate and add using a time function okay so now how can i do this uh, i will split uh, this uh, duration hours into only the hours the integer part of 4.5 how can i get it trunk th there is a function called truncate it will truncate the function and give you only the integer part if you pass only that uh, number uh, it could be any decimal number also okay it will truncate the decimal part and give you only the integer part so you will get four okay it's very straightforward but how can i get the uh, decimal part to calculate the minutes okay how can i get the decimal part first i will get the decimal part uh, then using the decimal part i will calculate the minutes uh, okay so how can i get the decimal part i'll get uh, the duration minus uh, the integer part uh, the hour if i 4.5 hours i minus of only the hours part then i will get the decimal part uh, right then if i multiply the decimal part into 60 i'll get the minutes okay so this is the formula one is uh, truncation of the duration second one is uh, you must uh, uh, m duration minus truncate of duration into 60 okay this will give you the minutes okay i will do it uh, one more time truncation okay first the duration minus trunk of duration will give you the integer part if you minus of integer part from the duration you will get only the decimal part of the duration okay uh, once you get the decimal part of the duration what you need to do is you multiply that with the 60 then you will get the minutes so you have the hour and the minutes now add on that's it okay so how can you add uh, you can have the time part of departure plus you use the function called time in the time function you give hour minutes and second it will convert everything to time and uh, once it convert everything into the time then you can add it to departure time okay so i will i will put the hour four hours then the minutes 30 minutes 
okay then the seconds is zero okay if we give 8 a.m. you see so you have the time function pass the hours minutes and seconds then that time you will add to your departure time okay so now I will make this one as a single formula how to do that time I will need to pass the first argument is hour hour is nothing but integer part of the duration integer part of the duration is truncation of the duration okay next I need the decimal part of the duration into the 60 will give me the seconds how can I get it the duration minus integer part of the duration this will give me the decimal part of the duration so over over once you minus off I will get the decimal part of the duration everything I must multiply by 60 that is my second argument which is the minutes this is uh, this is the hours this is the minutes and seconds is zero and uh, if I pause everything to time it will make it a time okay then add that time to departure time okay you can see here what our time means convert hours minutes and seconds given as numbers to an excel serial number formatted with the time format so this one actually the time converts uh, the re respective excel serial number for this particular time okay then uh, that serial number is added to the serial number of this overall is converted back to the time format uh, which will give you the duration added with the departure time which is arrival time okay this is 3 30 a.m. and 8 p a.m. okay now we want to do the same thing in the reverse order we got a uh, arrival time okay now I want to uh, departure time okay how can we do that the same thing but I must use the minus here okay so how can I do that arrival time minus okay arrival time minus uh, time function I'm using it then the hour hour is nothing but truncation of the duration okay this is this will give me the hours okay now I want the minutes how can I get the minutes the duration minus trunk of the C2 the integer part of C2 will give the decimal part of duration now the whole thing needs to be multiplied with uh, 60 to get the minutes okay so I pass the hour I pass the minutes and I pass 0 for seconds uh, then the time value is calculated that value is added to the value of uh, arrival uh, that value is minus of from the arrival time uh, to get the departure time which is 3 30 a.m. okay so this way you can add or subtract any duration to get uh, departure and arrival time okay hope this video is helpful to you if you like my video and example please subscribe to my channel and god bless you